You don't have to reinvent the wheel to exploit systems. Use Metasploit. Metasploit is a framework that contains an extensive collection of exploits and it's one of the very most popular open source free tools for security professional. There is a commercial version available as well. In this tutorial, I will cover the basic structure of Metasploit along with some techniques on how to use it. So on the screen, you can see the framework architecture. You can access Metasploit using its interfaces, either through console using MSF console or command line interface or the web version or other GUI tools that we will discuss later. The underlying modules of Metasploit are mainly five. They are payloads, exploits, encoders, knobs, and AUX. So let's start here with basic definitions before going into the details. What's a module? Module is actually a piece of software that can be used by Metasploit framework. And what is a vulnerability? Vulnerability is a weakness in the target system, such as the system is not patched or a doesn't have an antivirus, etc. Through this vulnerability or this weakness, a successful penetration will occur. What is an exploit? So once a vulnerability is known in the system, an attacker will take advantage of it and breaks into the system using a certain code or script written, which is known as an exploit. A payload, a set of tasks that are initiated by the attacker subsequent to the exploit in order to like maintain access or do other tasks on the compromised system. You can call these listeners, rootkit, etc. But in our case here, and in most of the cases in Metasploit, this is called Metapreter, which is a shell that the user gets in order to control the system remotely. What is a shell code? As we said, it's a set of instruction used as a payload when the exploitation occurs, which results in the command shell or Metapreter that we will see in the next video while doing the demo. Encoder is a module that, if I use the right word here, the technical word, it's obfuscate. So actually, it's a module that obfuscate the payload so that it doesn't get detected by intrusion detection systems or antivirus. So it kind of wraps the payload in an iterative way so that it doesn't get easily detected by antivirus or other systems. Auxiliary is it provides additional functionality to the system such as scanning, recon and DOS attacks and lastly NOPS actually it's a piece of software that prevents a payload from crashing on x86 systems by using jump systems so just don't, don't, don't worry about that. So going further it is important that you understand how are things stored on Metasploit system and because this will help you using the framework in a better way. So let's go directly to the Kali machine and run Metasploit from there. So from here you can go to the directory user then share then Metasploit dash framework and you will see all the files related to the Metasploit framework. You can see the modules. If you go to the modules, you can see that they are auxiliary encoders as we explained earlier. And you can as well see that plugins are here. What else? The MSF console, command, other scripts, tools, etc. So actually they're all arranged on this directory here, Metasploit framework. So if you want to run Metasploit, you just as we said earlier, it has different platforms to run, but we will use the MSF console, which is my favorite way, console, to, to run the Metasploit. So it will take some time to initiate the database and connect to it. So let's just give it some time here to run. As you can see, the cursor changed and we are in the Metasploit framework now. Before going further, in the previous architecture, we saw that it has libraries as well. We have three main libraries, which are Rex, MSF Core, and MSF Base. The Rex library is the basic library for most of the attacks. It handles operations like protocols, text transformation, sockets, etc. The MSF core is the core library that provides basic API and the MSF base provides like additional or friendly API. So here we'll add the MSF command line. I will give you some tips on how to get familiar with it and how to use it. First of all, you can search exploits. So as you can see, this framework has around 1700 exploits, 986 auxiliaries, 507 payload, 
payloads, 40 encoders, etc. So how to search these? You can use these commands, search, search, type, exploit, and search, search, sorry, search, type, exploit, and it will list all the exploits that are available in the framework at the time being. It will list the date, the description of the exploit, the name of the exploit, etc and the rank of well that we can use as well we can fine grain the search by specifying the platform such as you can use search let's go to the command previously and you can here specify the platform that we are looking for exploits into so you can say windows and hit run you will get all these exploits related to the windows system which are many a better example can be if we narrow the search to so Ubuntu and here you can see that it returned the exploits that are pertained that pertain to, to, to Ubuntu. You can as well search uh, common vulnerabilities, CVE, I want the common vulnerabilities that occurred in 2017 and here you go it will list all the common vulnerabilities. I want to attack a specific system per se with WordPress, search name wordpress and it will return all the vulnerabilities related to wordpress so if we want to go further and select an exploit just for the sake of giving this demo we can say like use and we can reference the exploit so let's say that we want to use whatever this exploit for example so just copy it and paste it after the use and just hit enter as you can see that the cursor changed and we are into this exploit now so once we are into this exploit we can issue a couple of commands like show targets so it will show you the targets that this exploit will work on in this case it's wordpress 3.5 you can see it, you can use as well show info it will describe this exploit as you can see here, this this module exploits PHP code injection vulnerability against WordPress plugin 3, a total cache of four versions up to including etc. So all of these exploits come up with real description there. And you can as well show options. And these are the options related to the exploits. And you can set these options by using... because So here we have the target address that we're targeting. And we have the... A remote address and re remote port so we can set these in our exploit module and then invoke a payload and then send the payload to the target so for example if you want to set the remote host IP you can use this command set our host and then one and two is the two one one dot one so I'm putting the IP of the Windows machine and here we go IP has been set you can issue the show options again you can see that here the IP has been set okay and going further we can use show payloads that are related to this exploit and Metasploit will return all the payloads that are related to this exploit here we go so you can use this payload along with the exploit you can again use command and let's see here we're using PHP Metaprete reverse TCP just use and paste okay so if you issue show options again you will see that so you use show payloads and it will return all the payloads associated with this attack so if you want to use this php payload issue this command use php forward slash metapreter then reverse underscore tcp and the payload is now used if you issue the command show options it will show you the options of the payload and you can as well set local host IP and the local port again if we use this local host I'm setting the local host IP to my IP dot 130 and here we go so after you do all the settings of these options in the module and in the payload you just press on the right exploit and the attack will be invoked